going to start seated this morning. Uh, welcome to Good Morning Sunrise Yoga. Just these 45 minutes has this opportunity to move and kind of explore, kind of work out any kinks from sleeping or any activity earlier in the week. And again, just find some breath to move with. And if you ever feel like flowing a little bit differently or adding on something somewhere that your body or mind needs this morning, feel free to add that along the way. Also feel free to modify, make adjustments that make, make sure you're taking care of your body and your spirit. So I want you just to close your eyes, and sit up a little taller through that spine. Just creating that length. It's being intentional as we breathe in through our nose and out our nose as well. Let tension leave your face and jaw. Let those shoulders relax. And through that ease, you can also still create this engagement or focus into your spine. Brings a little bit of energy from the ground in your sit bones all the way out through the crown of your head. Let's take our hands, start to breathe in, reach out and up overhead. And then on that exhale, we're going to let those hands release down to the mat. On another inhale, we're going to rise those hands up high. This time, exhale, cactus arms, draw shoulders together, pull those elbows down. Release hands down to the mat. Take an inhale, reach hands high. One more cactus arm back bend as you lift heart, lift gaze up towards the sky. And let those hands come down. Just take that left hand, sweep it over to the right side, finding a gentle twist as you look over your right shoulder. And do that opposite thing with the right arm sweeping to the left side, gaze over the back shoulder there. One more time, each side, sweep that left arm over to the right, gaze backwards. And sweep arm to the right or left and look backwards. Let's move forward into tabletop. Let's take ourselves through cat cow. So inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Let that tailbone tip up towards the sky. Let shoulders draw down your back. And on the exhale, round spine, push the earth away. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. And exhale, round spine, push the earth away. So as you breathe here, just I want you to imagine that low back and breathing into that space. Continue to drop belly, move through those cat cows. Not just breathing into the length of your spine, but as you come into that cat stretch, really breathing in right to left through that low back, side to side. Do that one more time. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. And exhale, round spine, push the earth away. We're going to walk hands back, tuck those toes, sit back on your heels. Maybe draw heels towards each other so they connect underneath you. Nice toe stretch going. If this is too much for your feet, you can always have hands down on the mat and just take a few breaths here. Hands are up off the ground. Let's take an inhale, reach hands out and up overhead. Exhale, hands come down by your sides. And again, we're going to inhale, reach hands high. And exhale, sweep hands down. Adding cactus arm back bend to this last one. We're going to inhale, reach hands high. Exhale, cactus arms, pull those elbows down. Lift with your heart. Gaze upward. Bring those hands down. It's going to tap the toes lightly on the mat behind us as you bring hands down into the tabletop. All right, from this tabletop here, we're gonna try and move with our toes flat on the mat rather than tucked. And I want you to lift knees up off the mat to a hover so that we're pushing the tops of our feet. 
And you can take this to the intensity that you want. Your toes can be rather tucked deeply underneath you, a lot of support on those toes, or you can be more on the tops of your feet. So I want you to take that right knee and tap right wrist and send that back. Tap left knee to left wrist as you switch sides. And do that two more times each side, right knee to right wrist, left knee to left wrist. Do that one more time each side. And lower down into tabletop. Keeping those knees underneath you, send hips backwards into rock pose. Forehead comes down to the mat. Starting to move and find that breath. I want us to inhale forward towards tabletop, maybe modified plank as those hips come down. And the exhale will send us back, sit on your heels. Four more breath cycles, inhale forward. And exhale, you can start to move through these cat cow stretches as you move. So as you inhale, come forward, drop belly, gaze up. And as you exhale, round spine, Push the earth away, sit on your heels. Inhale forward with that cow belly. Exhale, round spine. One more time, inhale, cow belly. Exhale, cow st or cat stretch. So walk hands over to the right side of your mat so you're stretching through that left. And walk hands across center, do the same thing over to the left. Walk hands back to center. Inhale, come forward to tabletop. Tuck our toes, lift our hips up into that first down dog. As you pedal out your feet, really just getting into any movement here that your body still needs before we start our vinyasa. So hips sway side to side, maybe bend that gaze side to side. You might even just take down dog into this hyperextension for a couple moments in order to stretch out arms and back. And then bend knees, gaze forward, step to the top of your mat. Grab opposite elbows, forward fold. Feel that stretch into your hamstrings. You can bend or straighten knees here as you wish. Let the head hang heavy. Let those fingertips come down to the mat, slowly come up with rounded spine. And inhale, reach hands high, find those cactus arms on your back bend again, pulling elbows down and towards each other. Inhale, hands reach high. Exhale, find Tadasana for just a moment. Close your eyes, just scanning that body. Noticing that energy already starting to flow through our body. A little bit more alert and awake than when we rolled out of bed this morning. All right, let that smile come to your face, just enjoying yourself, continuing to do so throughout your practice. Take a deep breath in, reach hands high. And on that exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine. Maybe bring hands to shins. Exhale, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, step back to plank. It's kind of yogi's choice for your, for your flow this morning. If you want to come down to knees, take your chaturanga and flow all the way into up dog and down dog. Feel free. If you have full chaturanga, if you want to skip those, Gonna you know, listen to what, what you're needing out of your practice today. It's gonna be Yogi's choice for flow. So everyone will eventually meet in down dog. Once you're there, inhale, take right leg high. Now that exhale, step forward to low lunge. Lower down to left knee and inhale, sweep hands high into low crescent lunge. Maybe hinge forward, take advantage of this stretch through the left hams or left hip flexors. Gaze upward. Bring hands down to the mat and then straighten both legs. This version of pyramid that's just getting into that right hamstring now. 
Come back to low lunge. So you're leaving that knee up off the ground and then sweep hands to high crescent lunge. Sink down here, find a stretch. Maybe rise up out of it just a couple inches so that you're really engaging and finding some power in this pose this morning. All right, let's interlace fingers behind your head. Bring those elbows out wide and just gaze up as that head rests into your hands. You've got these little elbow wings. Reach hands high. Exhale, bring hands down to the mat. Step back to plank and find down dog. Inhale, take left leg high. On that exhale, step forward to low lunge. Lower down to right knee. Low crescent lunges, hands sweep up. Maybe lunge forward here. Feel that openness and that stretch. Bring hands down to the mat, lift up off of right knee. And inhale, sweep hands high. Interlace those fingers behind you, open up through that heart and chest. Okay, so we'll get into that pyramid leg here in just a second. I realize I breezed by that and I don't want to skip that. <laughs> All right, reach those hands high. Bring hands down around that front foot and straighten front leg so that hamstring gets some action. <laughs> All right, come back to low lunge and step back to plank. Feel free to add a flow here. Everyone will meet in down dog. Bend knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, bow. Pause here with this forward fold as you grab opposite elbows. Maybe even envision the crown of your head reaching towards your toes as you create some length in your spine in this fold. Release hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Find that flat back again. Exhale, forward fold. And then on the inhale, rise. Reach those hands high. Again, let's find those cactus arms as you draw elbows back and down. Feel that stretch and openness in your heart. Reach hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, find plank. Yogi's choice, flow. And everyone will meet in down dog. Take left leg high. So we're starting on the opposite side here. Bend knee, open up through side body. This time, rolling ankle, rolling knee out. On an inhale, straighten back to three-legged dog. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Lowering down to that right knee, sweep hands high. Gaze upward. Release those hands down around front foot, straighten front leg. Version of pigeon here, or uh, <laughs> you know, pyramid. Something that starts with the letter P this morning. <laughs> All right, low lunge, that knee stays off the ground. Come to high crescent on that inhale. Exhale, interlace fingers behind that head. Let your head rest as you open up that heart, open up elbows and chest. Can you gaze a little higher on the ceiling? Let that breath really fill the front body. Reach hands high. Bring them down around front foot, step back to plank. Find length in your spine, connect with that, and then lift hips up into down dog. Inhale, take right leg high. 
Bend knee, open up through the side. Again, finding some movement in hip or knee, ankle circles. Inhale, straighten leg. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Lower down to left knee, sweep those hands high. Gaze up between hands, maybe pinkies slightly turn in towards each other. Bring hands down around that front foot, straighten front leg. Let your forehead release down towards your shin. Low lunge. That knee stays lifted as you come up into high crescent lunge. Interlace fingers behind your head again. Let that head rest as you open up towards the sky. Breathe into front body and bring hands back high. Hands come down to the mat, step back to plank. Inhale, find length. Exhale, lift hips up into down dog. Bend knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Rise, reach up to stand. Cactus arm back bend. This time we're gonna reach fingers all the way behind us to interlace and straighten elbows. We draw palms together. Lean forward with your heart, hinging at your hips. Bring those hands up overhead. Finding a good stretch through those shoulders. Release hands to the mat and inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, find plank. Find your flow. Everyone will come into down dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next inhale is going to bring that right leg high. Bend knee, open up through your side. Roll ankle out. If you have flip dog in your practice and you want to bring that right foot down to the left side, opening up into flip dog, take that back bend and heart opener. Shift back to three-legged dog. Everyone extends that right leg. Deep inhale into belly and exhale, step forward, lunge. Lower down to that knee, low crescent lunge. Hands sweep high, just gazing backwards. Arms and elbows stay straight as you lean. Hands come down around that front foot. Straighten front leg. It's hinging over, looking for that forehead to just connect or reach towards your shin. I'm gonna leave left hand down on the mat and open right hand up to the sky. Bring that right hand back down. Stay with your lunge, bend that front knee, reach hands high. Interlace fingers behind head, open up. Adding on here, we're gonna take those elbows and hunch forward in the cat stretch through your spine. Elbows tap to the outside of that right knee. Rise up as you open those elbows back to the back bend. And then reach hands high, deep breath. Hands come down to the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale into the length. Exhale, hips lift high. Let those heels ground down. Left leg goes high. Bend knee open up. 
Looking for any tightness here, stretch into that, open it up. Adding flip dog if that's in your practice. Lifting with that heart and hips as your gaze follows your hand, reaching forward. Move back to three-legged dog. Step forward with low lunge. Lower down to right knee, sweep hands high. And those pinkies turn in towards each other. Hands come down around front foot, straighten front leg. Hinging and folding forward here. And then right hand is going to stay down. Left hand opens up into that twist. Bring that hand down, low lunge, and then sweep hands, high crescent lunge. Interlace fingers behind your head, open up through the heart. Even feel that stretch through the fronts of your triceps and biceps. All right, hinge forward, rounding into cat stretch, elbows look to tap that knee. Flex that spine open. Think cow belly here as you reach and open up through that heart. Hands come high, deep breath in. Exhale, hands release around that front foot, step back to plank. Breathe into the length of plank. Exhale, hinge hips, lift them high. Let's pause here in our down dog. Feel free to even pedal out your feet here and then take a static stretch as you tip tailbone up towards the sky. Legs are getting warmer, your body's getting warmer. Use that to create a little bit more movement in those muscles, a little bit more lengthening sensation. Bend knees, gaze forward. Let's step to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, reach up. Add that cactus arm back bend. From those cactus arms, extend hands out to reach behind you. Interlace fingers. Open up through that heart. Forward fold, bring those hands high. Let your head and neck relax here. I always like to add, sometimes this bending your elbows and rotating your shoulders around a little bit might help you get into a little bit of release into those shoulders for this stretch. You can play around. And then release hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. Chaturanga push up. Find your flow. Let's make our way to down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Bend knee open up through that side. Add flip dog. Gaze back at your mat, three-legged dog. Step forward, low lunge. Lower down to that knee, sweep hands high. Bend deeper, use this back bend here. Bring hands down to the mat. Straighten both legs, hinge forward. Take that twist, right hand stays down, left hand opens. See what happens when you really stand strong into that left foot, to straighten that leg. Bring left hand down, that front knee bends. Inhale, high crescent lunge. 
interlace fingers behind head, elbows go wide, heart draws open. Deep breath in. And on that exhale, elbows round towards that knee. Cat stretch into your spine. Inhale, open up. Those hands lift. And hands release down to the mat, step back. Breathe into plank. Exhale, lift hips high. Next breath, right leg goes high. And then exhale, bend knee, open up. Adding flip dog here. Gaze back at your mat. Three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Lower down to that knee. Bring hands high. See if you can open up into a bend here. Gazing upward. Hands release around that front foot. Straighten both legs. Take that fold. Left hand stays down, right hand opens up into your twist as you really push into right foot. Even draw right hip backwards a little bit more. Notice that sensation that you're gonna feel as that stretch deepens. Release hand to the mat, come to that front knee bent. Reach hands high. Interlace fingers, open up. On an exhale, elbows down to that knee, round forward. Inhale, open up, reach hands high. Exhale, brings hands down to the mat, step back to plank. Holding plank, breathe in. Exhale, down dog. Bend knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Let's breathe upward, reaching. And exhale, take those cactus arm back bends. Interlace fingers behind your back. Open up and hinge at your hips forward. Reach those hands high. Release hands down to the mat. Stay with this forward fold here. Bend and straighten those knees. Let's walk hands over to the right side of our mat. As you do that, bend your right knee and straighten your left leg. You can probably feel that stretching sensation through that left hip, maybe your left side. All right, walk hands over to the left. This time, bend left knee, straighten that right. Let's continue to let your head hang heavy here. Breathing into that stretch, just letting it create some release. Walk hands back to center, grab opposite elbows, head hangs heavy. Can you feel the weight of your arms just pull you down gently into this fold? Let this be a release, maybe taking an exhale out your mouth. Release hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. Maybe find that flow again, elbows bend, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Take right leg high. Bend knee open up through that side. If you still have flip dog in that practice, you want to do another one. This will be the last one. 
So feel free to add flip dog here. It'll be the last one on this side anyway. Let's gaze back at the mat, three-legged dog. Low lunge. Lower down to that knee, inhale, sweep hands high. Take that back bend. Bring hands down to the mat, straighten front leg. All right, for this next version, we're doing revolved triangle. So we need to drop that back heel down like we would for warrior one. So that foot is about a 45 degree angle behind you. And I invite you just to bend into this front knee. It'll help soften this twist at first and really pay attention to what your low back and your pelvis tell you during this move. I want you to draw right hip backwards. I'm gonna move sideways here. I'm gonna draw this right hip kind of backwards to square hips off. And you can use a block underneath the left hand or you can keep it on the floor. Then open up into that twist here with that bent knee. So we're twisting into that right leg. Now work to straighten right leg into this twist as you're drawing right hip backwards. How's that left heel? Can it plant firmly onto the mat? Maybe create length from the crown of your head out your tailbone here. Bring that hand down. So we're in low lunge here. Got that front knee bent. Sweep hands high, crescent lunge. <laughs> hands interlaced behind head, open up through that heart. Draw elbows open even more. Use an exhale, round forward. Inhale, open up. Release hands to the sky, deep breath. Hands come down to the mat, find plank. Breathe into plank, enjoy that length. Hips lift to down dog. And let heels ground down towards the mat here. Tip tailbone high. Left leg lifts and open up through left side. Roll ankle, maybe flip dog one last time. Come back to three-legged dog. Deep breath in. Step forward, low lunge. Lower down to that knee, sweep hands high. And find that back bend. Bring hands down around that front foot. Straighten front leg. All right, plant right hand down. Again, you can use a block underneath right hand if you choose. Find a slight bend into that left knee and draw that left hip backwards. Start to open up into that twist. Oh, I forgot this cue, also dropping that right heel down, 45 degree angle. <laughs> there you go. Now straighten that front leg as you're twisting open into that left. Create length from the crown of your head through that tailbone. Maybe relax John's shoulders here. Ground that back heel down to the mat. Release down, bend that front knee. Inhale, sweep hands high. Interlace fingers behind your head, open up your heart, open up those arms and elbows. Exhale, round forward, elbows tap that knee. 
open back up. Reach those hands high. Hands come down. Step back to plank. Breathe into plank here. Lift hips to down dog. Ground heels down. Final down dog here. So if there's any additional movements you want to take, feel free to add those as part of your practice. Sometimes maybe bending those knees one at a time. Lower down to your knees and take knees mat with apart. Sit back on our heels. Forehead comes down. Take a few breaths here. Settling in to child's pose. Let this be sort of mini pause here. As you breathe into that low back, again, we're looking to breathe into the length of that low back, but also to that right and left. Letting it expand as you breathe deeply here. Notice as you breathe into that back, maybe your belly releases and relaxes a little bit. Let that happen. Then threading the needle here from child's pose, we're gonna take right arm and just sweep it underneath the left. Threading that needle, you can gaze off to the left side underneath that arm. Keep your left hand extended on the ground. You're gonna use these as we deepen these stretches, as you feel this, notice tension if it, if it arises. Releasing, breathing, you know, finding that awareness in your practice. Sweep that right arm back to child's pose. And then left arm reaches underneath right side, threading the needle to the right. Maybe draw that shoulder away from your chin or ear, creating a little space there. All right, bringing that hand back. So a lot of times when we find these little crisscross arms crossing our, our biceps, we do that from our belly. We're gonna try it from child's pose today. So we've got just two more little versions here from child's pose. We're gonna take that right arm, tuck it behind the left so your arms make an X. And then you're gonna just walk those hands apart from each other and try to use that weight of your upper body to just rest into a stretch here. So you've just got this crisscross. You guys, if that doesn't feel like much in your body, feel free to take it down to your belly. But I find sometimes this is the almost the same effect with a little bit more relaxation into it. But I also have really tight shoulders. So just like we breathed into our back, I want you to breathe, or into our low back, I want you to breathe into your upper back here. So we're breathing into the length of your spine, but let those scapulas, as you breathe, expand away from each other, round away from each other. So that length goes right to left as well. And we're slowly coming out of that. Now just cross right arm in front of left. 
or just take the opposite way that we were doing before. Come down, take that crisscross, let your upper body melt into this. Breathe into those scapulas right to left. Slowly come out of that. It's going to sit back on our heels here for a moment. Take a couple breaths. We're going to inhale, reach hands high, expand them out, just getting those shoulders and arms to release, find a little bit of extra movement. A couple breaths as you reach up and those exhales will bring hands down. All right, coming down to seated spot on our mat. So I'm gonna have you hold on to the backs of your thighs as you find that cat stretch through your spine. Start to roll down one vertebrae at a time, articulating, just noticing that back. Pull, pull knees into chest and rock right to left. All right, release fingers, and you're going to reach through for happy baby. Grab those arches or grab your ankles. Pull knees down. Pull those feet up. As, as you're here, try to knit shoulders down. If that chin likes to reach upwards towards the sky, try to tuck it in so your neck is neutral. Imagine those vertebrae starting at your shoulders, articulating down through mid back and low back, trying to knit each one down to the mat, all the way to your sacrum. Just be aware of any tension that arises in that forehead or your eyes, letting it ease. All right, release those feet, pull knees into chest, make a tight little ball. Deep inhale against that compression. And on that exhale, extend out into Shavasana. Let that whole front body be open. Let the air touch it. I like to close my eyes and envision the sun just on my skin, warming it. I say when the sun doesn't shine bright during the days, our, sometimes it can actually affect our mood <laughs> pretty, pretty quickly. So sometimes you got to just make your own sunshine. <laughs> just imagine what that would feel like with the warmth of your skin. Might even make you squint a little bit. So releasing the eye tension. Give yourself a little smile as you lie here basking in that brightness of the sun. And just enjoy that stillness. A slight pause before the rest of your day continues. It's taking everything from your mat, all that release and focus with you. When you leave your mat today, Slowly start to wiggle those fingers and toes. Maybe take that full body stretch like you're just getting out of bed. Pull knees into chest. You can either roll off to your side or rock up to a seated spot on your mat. 
Everyone will meet with those legs crossed, hands resting on their knees. Create that length again in your spine, sitting up a little taller. Feel this ease in your body. Just take a deep breath in, reach hands out and up overhead. Palms come together and down to your heart, head bows. Thank you so much for waking up with me this morning. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing weekend. Namaste.